Yeah, got it on. Good fish too. <laughs> well, at least it's on camera. You did call it. Awesome. That's a good start. Look at that. He's a nice fish. Got him. Oh, Thank you, mate. Cracker. That's another nice fish. That's even a little bit bigger. Yeah, pretty sure he wanted it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. It's been a while between drinks, but Troy Dicko Dixon, we are fishing again together. Yes, mate. We are. We're out having a bit of a flathead session. Got the small lures on. Rooms are. There's a few kicking around, and mate. Well, this is. We're product testing, but we're also in training. The flathead classics coming up. It's almost peak flathead time. It's pretty much just good to be out here more than anything. That's it, mate. Out here having a good fish. If there's one style of fishing I do enjoy doing, it is the good old-fashioned estuary session. Flathead, you're always a chance of a big girl, but I think today we're just going to focus on numbers, trying to get a few fish in the boat, trying to put a few lures through their paces, and all in all, just have a bit of fun. That's it. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoy this episode. With a bit of luck, we can show you a few fish. Let's get casting. Go on, yet? No. no, mine's broken. <laughs> right, guys, so I did mention we're going to be using a few new products today. Now, I asked Dick, I was like, oh, how many of these have we got? We've got one each, so I thought I'd better show you them now before I lose it because it's uh, bound to happen eventually. This is a three and a half inch, it's a flat shad X. Now, the major difference being that jointed tail. And what that does is give the tail a nice little shimmy action. It's got a different action to the standard flat shad. Uh, actually looks pretty good in the water and it's got a different um, different internal jig head too. Should be a flathead lolly. We shall soon see, hopefully, before I lose it. Hope I didn't jinx myself, but I've got to catch a fish on it before it goes by. <laughs> Don't lose it. Don't lose it. <laughs> we need this one. Don't lose it. That took a while. I just had a brim bite. I was just about to say, I had a brim bite, and then this little fella just well, I lifted it out of the water. Troy, that is a cracking start to the Flathead session. Um, yeah, well. In Flathead Classic Talk, that's a good old fashioned five pointer. Five pointer. Um, it rates just above hooking your line around the electric motor. Uh, hey. It's the right species though. Five points is five points. Five points is five points. And away he goes. And you're on the board. It's bound to happen eventually. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Oh. Reef it in. Oh, there he is. Got him? There he is. Is he as big as mine? He's bigger. He is bigger. I'm the champion. You're only as good as your last oh. fish and I win. <laughs> We're calling it on this one, Dicko. <laughs> we are calling it on this one. Yes, you beat me. Another, I'm going to say it, I'm going to put it out there right now. Another 10 centimetres, he'd be legal. Oh. He'd be getting close. He'd be, he'd be, he'd be 30. 30. Oh, he'd be 38, I reckon. You reckon? Yeah. Get your little ruler out. Oh, I did bring a ruler just for the purpose of this conversation. I'll say 34. I'll say 38. Here we go. <laughs> the debate's running. Oh, he might be spot on too. Yeah, Just, nah. He's only 39. Not sure. The rule is out. <laughs> he's 39, isn't he? The rule is out. He's actually probably really legal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's something just got eaten up there. Oh. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a prime example of a jumping pin flathead. Thanks very much for tuning in. I'll catch you next week. That's all we're going to show you this week. <laughs> nah, that's a nice little fish. I did catch one on the lure before I lost it. That's a win. Try and yeah, upgrade. Fish on. Oh, big out. And this is a better one. Oh. Can you get the net? Oh, he's calling for the net. That makes me excited. Talk me through it, Dicko. I don't know. He feels reasonable. He's moving. Yeah, he's good. Oh, he's not bad. He's not huge, but he's not bad. I've just spot locked a semi, so. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad we um, called the competition over on that last fish. Oh, yeah, this one, right. this one doesn't count. This one's all right. This is a cracker. Awesome. That's a good start. That's like a, nearly a 60 centimetre fish. 
and he absolutely Has, scoffed it. Scoffed it down. <laughs> That's a really solid fish. Yeah. I want to see where that lure is because he can't see it at all. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure he wanted it. Yeah. He wanted it. How's that? That's a beautiful little fish. He'd be, I reckon he'd be pushing. Oh, sorry, mate. Nearly knocked Sammy's rod over the side. Wouldn't be ideal. Well, I reckon we put him on the on the measure. Yeah, I'll get the hook out of him. You weren't. You were a centimetre off with your last prediction. What are you calling this one for? I reckon he'd be close to 60 centimetres, maybe just 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 over. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he's going to go 65. Do you want some smaller ones? Some 62, I reckon. 62. Right, I will. We just won't doubt you anymore, will we? Oh, we've measured a few fish over my time. That is a beautiful fish. We might give him a real little release. Yeah. I'm stoked with that. That's good. A little like that. Well, that's the same. That's a flat shad, flat, flat shad X, I should say. Yeah. Rigged this, on a jig head. Yeah, I just put a little jig head on this one just to see how much of a bit of a different action it gives it. So they do come with a pre-rigged jig head, but these things are the only dynamite on the flathead. Spear him in. Well, I'll give him a spear. All right. Oh, gone. Yeah, he's stoked about that. Well done. That's a good start. Not a bad start. Hopefully there's a few more here. Now, you may remember from a flathead session Dicko and I had last year. We were chasing a big one. It did take us two days. Uh, I think we would have taken that one a lot earlier in the piece last year. But uh, that's a really good start. That's three fish in about five minutes. So, with a bit of luck, the day continues to fire like that and we'll have no dramas. But we're not necessarily going for really big fish today. It's a bit early in the season. Big girls, they'll be spread out all throughout the system. So it's really just a game of chance whether you get a, a big one or not. We're going for numbers, and so far, we're going well. I reckon there'll be a fish right there. In that little... Little break? Mm. Little eddy? Yeah. Little Jimmy. Looks good. Looks good here. Go on then. <laughs> well, at least it's on camera. You did call it. Oh, it had to be one there. There did have to be one there. I don't think he's huge. Oh, no, he's... Oh, who knows? Is it a net job? Oh, definitely a net job. He's got a bit of weight in him. Oh, yeah, no, he's got a nice... He's a nice fish. I shouldn't have been polite then. Look at that. Yeah, you were. Oh, yeah, he's a nice fish. Look at that. Well... Oh, listen to that seesaw. Yep. Oh, is this a doing? Oh no, he's got actually in the top of his jaw, so we're laughing. Oh, dodge! Sorry, Sorry mate. Big dodge. I'm getting flashbacks from our last session. The old Troy Dixon pantsing. You were very courteous on that one. I said there's got to be a fish there, and you didn't chuck it in there. And you no, said, Go I on, wanted you. to, but you did. You you picked it from a mile away, so I thought I'd let you have a go first. I shouldn't have. I know for future reference. Oh, Thank you, mate. Cracker. That's another nice fish. That's even a little bit bigger. I'd say so. It's longer for I'd sure. Say he'd be, I reckon he's 67. When you're not trying to catch big ones, <laughs> you, you catch them. You got it. Look at that. Look at that hook up. Perfect. Top jaw. That is textbook. Textbook. Got to be happy with that one. Oh. Are you getting the ruler out? Nah, it's already out. <laughs> I know better than to challenge you on size now. You've got two from two. Oh, got to be happy with that. I think it's time to change lures. <laughs> Listen. Oh, uh, love it. That's a nice size fish. That's just. Geez, you'd be happy with that one in the classic. That's oh, some yeah. points. That. He had it in there, and it come. They implode fish like feed like the barra do. They have the same similar feeding action. So it's in their mouth and it's out pretty quick. You can see where it's roughed it up. Anyway. Well, you better hold him up for us. Good solid fish. I did say there has to be one there, eh? Oh, you did. You did. And we got it on camera. Come on. That is a lovely example. Lovely, lovely, lovely. You've got to be happy with that. 
any day of the week. Well, you are earning the lizard wizard status. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Beautiful. Cracker. All right. Send we'll him back. We'll let him go, eh? I reckon. Awesome. Call me Sammy the cameraman. <laughs> it's alright, I know my place. Oh, early days, mate. Oh, are you saying you might have to? Mm. Fish. It is, it is a monster. It's a target species. Yes. Just to prove that I can still do it ish. Did you feel a bite, Sammy? Did I? <laughs> I did, mate. It was, it was one of those ones where you hook the bite and you have to keep winding real quick. Yeah. Keep tension with it. Two years later, come back to the same spot and there's another one sitting there. Same sort of thing. And he was 87, I think. Oh, there's a fish. Any size? No. Oh, that's all right. It's still a flathead. No, another flatty though. That's a legal one. Whoa. There's a there's a there's a scoring fish. That's 40 points in the Flathead Classic. He's really not stoked about it. He's chipping away at the small guys. Five points. Five points. Oh. I did have one. I think this might be a good fish. Nah, not not too bad though. His walk is on, is it? That was a funny hit. I care. At least caught one. Oh, he's alright. Don't jinx me just yet. Well, you got on. Oh, you know. Oh, fat Betty. You know. She's on. Oh, come on now. There's a sporting 50. That is a good 50. Hooray! Oh, look at that! Well, there we go! He's a nice fish! Got him! I've got a legal one, Dicko! Yeah! Look at that! Can't complain about that! I wasn't going to! No! I was only going to say positive things! Oh, that's good! Yeah. Well, we had a little bit of a dry patch there. Just waiting for the right time in the tide. Hopefully that is now, but that's a nice solid little fish. Probably mid 50s. Gave a good account of himself. Nothing but good, honest fun, that. Fat Betty. Fat Betty in the regular flat shad. And this guy, he can go back as well. See you, mate. Loves it. Loves it, Dicko. Yeah, Gooden? Sporting little one. Yeah, that's points. The honey hole. More points. Juster. Nice. The clinic continues, Dicko. Well, two at a time here, guys. That one's not too bad. Not too bad at all. That's alright. Little jumper. That's alright. Dicko, what's the official length on that? He'd be 51. 51 and. This one's like 36. 
<laughs> Probably not even. Not. I absolutely scoffed that down. That's a nice size fish, bud. Bloody yeah. oath. There you go, guys. You heard it first. 51. Nice little fish. He can go back. Yeah. Take him first fish of the classic. Oh, got him. Any good? Oh, I might have lost him. Oh, there's all right. Black one. Yes. He's not going to break any records. <laughs> That's alright, mate. He's still a fish. He's still a fish, guys. We've uh, we've had a bit of a slow patch. The um, the well, the the soft plasticking has gotten a little bit slow. We kind of trucked away, getting a few here and there. So we're having a bit of a troll. Now, I got a pike before, which was very underwhelming, but well, there's there's a few points. That'll go. Would he go? Just, oh, I don't think so. Nah, no, not 30. no. There's five points, but it's a good way to um, to fill in a bit of time. The old troll got a lure in the water, so you're always a chance of getting one. See you, mate. Not the not the baby one. There's one. Yes. Good fish. It's a bit of bend there. Was that the, the magic of the noodle? Oh no, there's the shaky shakes. It is, it's only a um, noodle rod, yeah. The spaghetti. He's alright, I think that one might score. Nah. No. I think it's his twin brother, isn't he? Or that one you just caught? Could have been the same one. Mm. Well, it's on the troll though. Yeah. On the pink. Pink tango shad. That old chestnut. Well, uh, fish. Oh yeah, the scorer. He's not too bad. <laughs> I feel like we underplayed that a lot. A lot. That's anyway. A, that's alright. He's points on the board, that is. Yeah. We just didn't have enough fish coming through. I think we had three and we needed another two. And we were leading. Like leading the two day event. Yeah. And, um, oh, sorry, we'll see. Oh, yeah. go. Nice. Nope. He might, he might score. I don't think so. He's, he's legal. Is he? Isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I think so. so, we're, so we're so carried away now. <laughs> yeah. I catched a one. <laughs> I catched a one. <laughs> oh, he's oh, <yeah>, heaps legal. <laughs> I reckon it'd be about 45. Oh, yeah. 40. No, you reckon? 43. 40, actually, let's Where's do it. Measuring? Let's do it. I reckon, I'll go 44. 44? I'm going 43. Ah. more like 45. But, uh, <sighs> we're getting complacent. Spoiled, some would say. Oh. 43? 43? I think he might. Something just got eaten then. Where'd he go? Oh. Still trying to manhandle him. 43? He's 44.5. <laughs> oh, no, we have. There you go. He's not a baddie. Little scorer. Well, Dicko, mate, we chipped away. We chipped away. Yeah. I feel like we've been spoiled too many times in the past. That although we probably, I don't know, I'll have to go back through the footage, but I reckon we would have got. 20 maybe 20 plus fish yeah 
You reckon you got a fair few legals. You, I will admit you did give me a touch up in the score. But I think once you put it all together, that's a pretty good day's fighter fishing oh, by anyone's book. By anyone's, yeah, no, definitely. It's a, it's a good day's fishing being out in the water. So yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, we we do get a bit spoiled. We do get a bit spoiled. There was some tough times there where we just couldn't buy a bite, but then you know you get a few in one go, and you know you have an hour where you get four or five. So you chipped away. This is a chip away day. Mm. Yeah, we should have just kept moving more. I think. Yeah, yeah, we're too thorough. Mm. But that's not too bad. We caught some good fish, some nice 60s to start the morning. We probably should have called it a day after those. But uh, yeah, a good day on the water nonetheless. And uh, we're going to shoot off now. There's a few storm clouds building behind us. Not too keen on getting wet. It's cold enough as it is. No. But uh, we'll have a bit of a tackle talk back at my place. Okay, guys, time to chat tackle. Now, let's start with the soft plastics. We didn't really change around too much. We used the flat shad X's first up in the morning. Dicko lost his to a tailor, so then I took mine off as well. And then we resorted back to just a regular old three and a half inch flat shad. These guys here, they come pre-rigged with a weedless hook, but we usually thread a jig head through. Now the jig head we use is a one quarter ounce 3 hook. Also use three eighths as well, but uh, that's them there. The flat shad X's, they should be coming out very soon, so keep an eye out for them. Same deal, they come pre-rigged, but you can also add a little jig head in yourself if you'd like. And then we did some trolling, and we just trolled around. The, they're about 1.6 meter divers, 50 mil tango shads. Nothing new there, the tango shads have been very popular for flathead trolling since they came out. Just a nice small profile, and uh, a flathead of all sizes seem to snavel them down. Now the outfit I used pretty much all day was this one here. This is a seven foot Wilson blade and tails. This is the four to eight pound. So nice and light in the tip, which is, gives you plenty of sensitivity and a really good cast for these lighter soft plastics and for trolling the small lures. But still got a bit of power here if you need it. All around just a nice light outfit to use. Now I matched that with a two and a half thousand size reel, five pound braid. And the leader I was running was 12 pound. Now that gives you a little bit of insurance against the big girls when they suck the plastic down. Um, but generally 12 pound is all you'll need. Just a really nice, light, fun outfit to use. And I'll tell you what, I'm very much looking forward to doing more flathead fishing over the coming months as they get thicker and thicker and begin their spawning run towards the mouths of these rivers. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching the episode. If you'd like to check out any more information on the gear I use, head over to wilsonfishing.com. They've got all the information on this tackle and plenty more. If you'd like to support my channel, head over to sammyhitskyfishing.com. Got heaps of merch available there. And guys, if you liked or learned something from this video, make sure you hit that like button, leave us a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because there's plenty more fishing action to come every single week. Hope you're all safe and well and catching a few fish and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky Fishing Adventure. Cheers guys.